For instance, the state capture investigation took seven months at PPSA, plus the further four years at the Zondo Commission of Inquiry to complete. Further, the Nkantla investigation took more than two years, whereas the Busasa CR-17 matter took eight months. And as we know, this matter was set aside on the basis of the criticism on how we went about in our investigation due diligence. The Palapala investigation, which is the newest investigation on our EMEA role, is now approaching four months. And it is one of the several EMEA investigations that are active in the system, some of which exceed 40 months. We call upon the public to rest assured that we have covered a lot of ground and we are receiving cooperation from all stakeholders involved. I am advised by the investigation team that we have already accumulated information that has filled seven arch lever files. The team has since been reinforced and is now comprised of the chief investigator, a senior investigator, both of whom, whom report to an executive manager who in turn reports to the acting chief operations officer who is overall responsible for investigations. This team is working around the clock to ensure the finalization of this matter within a reasonable time and yet produce a report that will stand the test of scrutiny. We have also established a multidisciplinary team encompassing our legal experts within the institution to advise the team as they go along. One cannot um, overemphasize the need for the investigation to be thorough and to leave no stone unturned to be fair to the parties, including the respondents, and to be conducted within the bounds of the Constitution and the law. It is critical to follow due process and balance quality and quantity, given how the courts have criticized our previous work.